Wii Sports Resort is a sequel to the mainstream hit Wii Sports, the game that introduced us to Wii Motion Control and comes packaged with every Wii console. Just as Wii Sports was a really good demonstration of the capabilities of the Wii Remote, the same can be said about Wii Sports Resort. It's a great tech demo of what the Wii Motion Plus attachment is capable of. The game comes bundled with a Wii Motion Plus add-on, and it's this little device that makes all the magic happen. If you just go by first impressions, you might not think that Wii Sports Resort is much of a looker. The game features the same clean, simplistic style and design as the original game, but there's a subtlety of the graphics. And even with the simple style, it's one of the sharpest looking Wii games out there. There are tons of next-gen visual effects, like advanced water physics and depth of field, and the frame rate never falters. There is a huge amount of variety in Wii Sports Resort. There are 12 events in all, this is more than double the amount of events in the original Wii Sports, and that's a lot of content for 50 bucks. However, you do wish there were more to these games. Many have alternate modes, but they're just as simple as the main mode. There's a stamp system, which is clearly inspired by Xbox Live's achievements and PlayStation Network's trophies, but these rewards can't be shared and compared online with friends. Also note that none of the 12 games will work without Wii Motion Plus plugged into the bottom of the Wii Remote. However, Wii Motion Plus is the star of the show here, so you won't really mind. First of all, Wii Motion Plus works really well. It adds an amazing amount of precision that's simply impossible with the normal Wii Remote. It's not perfect though. There are times when the motion sensing will get out of whack. Nintendo made it easy to get everything working properly again, but it does make Wii Sports Resort less pick up and play than its predecessor. Just like in the original Wii Sports, you'll find yourself gravitating towards different games as your favorites. Based on my playtime, Sword Play and Table Tennis will be the two go-to games for Wii Sports Resort. Swordplay is the most intuitive game in the bunch, easily the most fun and competitive, and the game that best shows up the Wii Motion Plus peripheral. Every slash, slice, and jab is interpreted with amazing accuracy by the Wii Remote, and it's a lot of fun. There's a surprising amount of strategy and depth to it. Waggling like a madman won't get you very far. Table tennis is almost as fun as the tennis game in Wii Sports. You have to hit the ball from either side of your body, and with subtle twists you can apply English to the ball. The only real downside, no doubles mode. It's only for two players. But it's still a fun time and it's just as easy to pick up and play as the original tennis was. Archery is also a favorite because it shows just how precise the Wii Remote can be. It's not the most energetic of game modes in Wii Sports Resort, but it's still a good time. The two frisbee games are also very well-rounded. Wii Sports Resort will first teach you how to throw the disc with Frisbee Dog, but then you'll have the opportunity to play some froth out in the same fairways you can play in standard golf. Getting a hole in one isn't nearly as challenging as it is with a club and ball, but it's still pretty satisfying. Hole in one! There are three water-based games in Wii Sports Resort. Power Cruising is a cool basic take on Nintendo's own wave race. It lacks a bit of depth and the two-player races are pretty brief, but in solo play it's fun to try and beat your best scores. Wakeboarding doesn't get much better in the depth department, but it's entertaining to see how high you can rack up your score by getting serious air weaving back and forth. Finally, there's canoeing. Now, canoeing may sound dull, but it turns out to be a sleeper, especially in multiplayer where everyone tries to get to the same gates first using a natural oar stroke on the Wii Remote. Anyone who remembers the classic Pilot Wings will enjoy Air Sports, a three-pack of games that lift inspiration from the Super NES and N64 Classic. Skydiving is actually used for Wii Sports Resort's training of the Wii Motion Plus. You can't start a new game without first taking the dive and seeing just how accurate the Wii Motion Plus enhanced Wii Remote can be. Island Cruising puts you in the cockpit of a seaplane to explore the nooks and crannies of the resort island. Then there's a two-player dogfighting mode that's a fun diversion, but it would have been better if it supported four players. Cycling is dull, boring, and it doesn't represent the capabilities of the Wii Motion Plus very well at all, so the least said about this repetitive game the better. Moving on. Basketball is a little too basic for my tastes. The three-point throw is a simple representation of those Papa Shot arcade machines, but the idea just doesn't work in a three-on-three -three competition. NBA Jam, this is not. Nice. What a shot! Wii Sports Resort is a really good package with a lot of variety. It shows gamers and developers what the Wii Motion Plus is capable of, and it's fun and intuitive. We definitely look forward to seeing how other games will use this new attachment. Until then, the Wii Sports Resort Island is a great place to spend a few hours with your family and friends. For the full written review, head on over to IGN.com.